has cost billions. It's cost the lives of hundreds of British soldiers, thousands of American soldiers, tens of thousands of Iraqi civilian, Ir Afghan civilians, and it's brought in its wake poverty, corruption, and drug dealing. It hasn't brought peace, it hasn't brought justice. It's brought drone aircraft bombing Pakistan and neighboring countries. And it's made unbelievable levels of millions for arms companies and security companies that frankly should be called mercenaries. What we're doing in the Stop the War Coalition is not isolated, not alone, not defeated, not forgotten. We're here together to give that message. As on February the 15th, 2003, in 600 cities across the world, people gave the same message. The war in Iraq was wrong. It was based on a lie, as Julian Assange has pointed out, and so many others have pointed out. So my message is this. Had we not founded the Stop the War Coalition in September 2001, there wouldn't have been barely an alternative voice. There was a mere handful of us in Parliament who voted against the Afghan war. More voted against the Iraq war, but somehow or other some people believe the Afghan war is a good war and the Iraq war is a bad war. Wars are bad, period. Wars do not bring victories, they bring measures of defeat for everybody. That is the message we want to give today. And so I urge you, if you're not a member of the, or supporter of Stop the War Coalition, join in. It's a coalition, a coalition of all kinds of people and all kinds of views, united in the cause for peace and justice around the world. Join in and make sure that alternative voice is heard. Stand up against this obscene consensus between the front benches in Parliament and most of the media in this country that somehow or other good is coming from the Afghanistan war. No, it's not. It's only misery, it's only defeat, it's only danger that is coming from it. Today you've heard a fantastic array of speakers, a fantastic array of talent. Artists, musicians, actors, writers, journalists, people that pursue the job that I pursue. And as we finish, we're going to form up and we're going to march down to Downing Street. And we're going to be led, yes, led, by Hetty Bauer, aged 106. She stayed here all day in order to lead our march. So my simple message to you, my friends, is if Hetty can do it, you can do it too. If Hetty's prepared to march down to Downing Street, nobody but nobody but nobody has any excuse. We united. We're strong. We're in favor of peace. We're in favor of justice. We don't want a world permanently at war. We want to deal with poverty, deal with hunger, deal with the health crisis, deal with the miseries of people. None of those problems that face the world are going to be solved by bombs, by nuclear weapons, by 